lovely humans. How are you today? I hope you are having a wonderful day. Here I am today on Kelly True Thoughts sitting with my new Pokemon. Guys, I got this at Barnes and Noble and I couldn't resist because Eevee has been my favorite Pokemon since I was a very little kid. And I like the evolutions too. My favorite one was always Vaporeon from the first generation, but I would say in the newer generation, it was Espeon, like the really cool purple psychic one. But anyway, yes, I have my own Eevee. I'm so happy, so excited. And I don't have to really think of a nickname for this one because it's obviously just Eevee. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this, so she's gonna chill with us today. So I'm starting on my channel to do kind of like an alternating type thing where I'm gonna do one video giving advice, talking about a light energy type topic, and then my other video is going to be more of a fun one, including unboxings, hauls, reviews, um, recipes, cooking, stuff like that. So one video is going to be more positive and motivational, and then the next is going to be more fun, just to kind of give my channel like a bit of a more variety. So for this video, I really want to talk about my four kind of life mottos that I live by. And these are the mottos that help me whenever I'm feeling like I'm falling off track or feeling negative, and they're just things that I can use to remind myself every Every day to get back in a light headspace and I'm hoping that maybe some of you guys can use these as well. So the first one is kind of simple but it's that I simply remind myself that I am a human. Yeah I know sometimes I think I'm an alien guys and I forget that I'm a human. What I mean by that is that I remind myself that I am a human. I have my own unique mind, my own unique soul, and I am a being of love that deserves to be taken care of. I feel like sometimes when we're in a dark place, we forget how amazing it is that we are human beings, that we are alive, that we are lucky enough to have this life. And to simply just sit there, recenter yourself, take a few deep breaths and remind yourself, I am a human, I deserve love even just say that a few times. You're reminded that, yeah, you might be going through a hard time, you might be feeling discouraged, whatever it may be that's going on with you, but at the end of the day, you are a human who does deserve love. And to take time and remember how amazing that is, that you get to be a human being. Our species is unlike any other, well, that we know of. It really is a beautiful gift, and sometimes I just sit there and remind myself of that, and it immediately brings up feelings of self-love and light energy just because I'm reminding myself that I am lucky enough to have a life, and I should not be taking it for granted. The second motto that I live by is that if you found happiness at one point, you can always find it again. There's not one person on this earth who has never been happy ever. We've all had moments in our life where we've experienced joy, happiness, freedom, whether it's after accomplishing something we worked hard for, whether it was with good friends, in relationships, with people that light us up, or whether it was just from being a kid. Because when you're a kid, you're kind of a little bit more happy all the time because life stresses haven't really kicked in yet. But if you feel down, if you feel kind of like you're going through a bit of a time of despair, take some time, sit there and think, okay, when was the time that I was happy? Now, why am I telling myself that I could never get back to that place? If you were happy once, you can be happy again. It's about making the choice to do so. And if you want some tips on how to be happier, I will put a link to a video I made before in the description of this one, where I give tips on how to feel happier. But this motto is so important, guys, because really, all hope is never lost. And a lot of people think sometimes they give up. They give up on their happiness, but that's something that we don't have to do. You can always go back to a happy place. You just have to realize why you've been feeling unhappy and what you need to go do to go back there. And trust me, there's times where I sit around and I'm like, wow, I've been so down lately. I've been feeling so heavy. I've been feeling like this clouds over my head, like, God. And I remember, you know, during that one time period, I was so happy and free, like what's wrong with me? And then I'm like, wait, I was happy and free during that one time period. So what was I doing back then that was making me happy? I should just do that again. It's never all lost, guys. You could always go back there. The third motto that I live by is that we are all souls, the same souls that we've been since we were born. And we kind of all have a little bit of a childlike curiosity and wonder in us. I tap into my childlike wonder a lot. I still like cutesy kind of things. I play video games. I am an adult. I'm a grown woman, but I have little things that kind of just make me happy and entertain me and keep me in a light headspace instead of worrying. And they calm my anxiety. So tap into your inner child as often as you need to, to find things that make you feel good and relaxed. It could be as simple as playing with your pet if you have a pet. It could be as simple as going shopping and treating yourself to a little something that you think is fun. 
It can be as simple as watching your favorite movie or playing video games, which is what I do, and I draw as well, as you guys know. Find little things that make you feel good. Play music if you're a musician. Read a book if you like to read. I love to read. Just find those little things, because even though we're adults, we don't have to stop playing. We don't have to stop nurturing that part of ourselves just because we have jobs and busy lives and stressful lives filled with stuff we have to do. We don't have to lose that part of ourselves because when you think about it, you are still that same soul. You're older, you're more intelligent, you've had more experiences, but you're still the same soul at the end of the day. And that's what we need to remember sometimes. And there's nothing wrong with that. And the last motto that I like to live by that really keeps me in a good place, and this is something recently that I've kind of had to relearn again, is that make sure that you are on a life path that feels authentic to you and that your heart beats for. If you're doing something and you don't like it, if you're stuck in a pattern and you're like, I didn't think my life would come to this, but you know, it is what it is, whatever. If you feel inside that you are not fully happy, do what makes you happy. Even if it's crazy, even if it's scary, walk that path. Because not walking it at all, if it's something you really want, you're just gonna end up settling and you're not gonna feel happy and you're not gonna feel free. Make sure that you are making the life choices that make you the happiest, most open and free version of yourself. Now I know we can't all have our dream life and I know we can't have everything we want, but when it comes to like your job or what you're pursuing or even a relationship you're in, if something feels off, is it really worth all the work? The passion needs to be there and the love needs to be there. So find out what your heart beats for, run after it, and don't be afraid. Don't let others and fears and doubts get in the way. Go for it full force because then you'll live life openly and you won't have any regrets. So those are the four life mottos that I like to live by, guys. Hopefully they've inspired some of you. Hopefully they might help some of you if you've been feeling a little down or discouraged and needed a little bit of motivation. Because at the end of the day, lovely humans, life is really not that bad. And I know it's stressful, I know it's hard, but it's not that bad and it's beautiful and we have to remember that more often. So I had a nice time chatting with you. Stay lovely, everyone, and I will see you next time.